head, no arms, no legs, no heart, no lungs, and yet, contrary to all laws of nature, continues to live and breathe. Look her over, folks. All right. Hey, Bert. Have Carr pass the word to tame everything down. The law's here. Hurry. Okay. Three, please. Haven't you anything smaller? We don't like to take big bills. That's the smallest I have, but that bill's all right. Oh, allow me. Oh. Thank you. Now, right over here, folks. Right over here. Here's the next attraction. Right over here. Gather around, folks. Gather around. Here we are, folks, right over here now, right over here. Here we have Keturah, the seeress, endowed with an occult wisdom of a forgotten civilization. She reads your past and delves into your future. For 50 cents a half a dollar, ladies and gentlemen, she will tell you what the future has in store for you, advise you in business, aid you in a happy solution of your love affairs. She's uncanny, she's supernatural, and all her mystic powers at your command for the trifling sum of 50 cents a half a dollar. Now, who's going to cross her palm here, gentlemen and ladies? Will somebody uh, have their fortune told? Step in there. Well, well. Well, I guess that'll be all for now, folks. We have unexpected guests, I see. Yeah. Blair Newgate, if that means anything to you. It doesn't, I regret to say. It will, but you lose your meal ticket if he closes this fix up. Is that Newgate in the center? No. That's Brandon, a police commissioner. Right over here, now the next platform. Right over here, ladies and gentlemen. Despite his tragic handicap, folks, this harmless artist not only dresses, shaves, and feeds himself unaided, but creates these beautiful artistic gems on sale to you for 25 cents a quarter of a dollar. Now, who is going to buy one, folks? Will somebody buy one of these beautiful artistic gems? They're 25 cents. 25. Thank you, my friend. Thank you. Thank you, ladies. Thank you. Newgate's that blue-nosed city councilman that's been shooting his mouth off in the papers lately about dope peddling and vice conditions in this end of town. I remember. Wasn't there something in the Times Herald last night about his intention to investigate a certain cheap Darrell Street show? Yeah. Well, that's him. I seem to recall his somewhat unflattering description of yourself as the ex-jailbird owner. Yeah, that dirty snooper. Do you imagine he's brought the police commissioner along to help him officiate? That's what I can't understand. Those two hate each other like poison. They're both running for mayor. And Newgate's hollering, clean up! to try and rope in the reform vote. You know, he doesn't want Brandon muscling in on his glory. Maybe he won't pull anything today. <laughs> <laughs> 